Hi, in this video we will talk about simulating transfer function in MATLAB. Hello, before starting the discussion of the transfer function in MATLAB, let's have a look uh, uh, of the transfer function, how it is looks like. So by theory transfer function is known as the Laplace transform uh, of the output to the Laplace transform of uh, input. That's why it is known as the uh, transfer function. So generally its form is given by this like g of s equals to try uh, something in terms of s related to the Laplace transform. So we are taking uh, this equation as an example uh, for creating a trans uh, transfer function in MATLAB. So it is given by g of s equals to 2s plus 4 divided by 2s square plus 3s plus 1. So the uses of the transfer function uh, uh, is as follows like uh, it is uh, used to determine the stability of the system uh, uh, suppose we are designing a system and it consists of several different uh, uh, factors uh, which are uh, dependent on the frequency so the transfer function will be useful whether our system will be stable or not it is also helpful in determining the frequency response of the system uh, in terms like uh, how our system will behave when uh, the frequency will keep on increasing or keep on decreasing it is also helpful in designing controllers in designing analog filters and there are lots of application of the transfer function you can go through on the internet for uh, finding out more applications of it so now we'll uh, uh, come to matlab and we'll try to uh, simulate uh, this transfer function and try to find the various aspect of the transfer function in MATLAB as well. So in transfer function as you know there were two parts numerator and the denominator. So we are taking uh, the coefficient of the numerator in the n variable and keeping in mind it is starts from the s. So the highest power of s comes first then the uh, uh, it uh, goes down to the power 0 of the s and then denominator part same applies for the denominator so it's 2 oblique 3 oblique 1 so these are the same as the coefficients of this transfer function 2 and 4 2 3 1 so i think i should change it i should change the n it was 4 now it's okay so first of all uh, uh, there is a command in MATLAB uh, which creates uh, a object of the transfer function and that is uh, termed as TF. So the TF is the command which will create a transfer function. So TF then numerator comma denominator and then simply enter. So a transfer function in the same form as we have discussed just right now has been displayed on the MATLAB. So now we can play with this uh, r, r variable that is of the transfer function type. Now first we will create a pole zero plot and pole zero plot uh, in MATLAB can be um, uh, displayed using pz plot and then r. Generally pole zero plot uh, describe the uh, location of the poles and zeros of the transfer function and uh, if we look at it carefully then all the poles poles are uh, being displayed by this uh, x uh, these x uh, uh, marker and zeros are being displayed by this o marker or the circle marker and as we can uh, check all the poles are uh, to the left side uh, of the uh, imaginary axis and uh, from theory if you are good in theory then you will came to know that uh, if all the poles are to the left side of the imaginary axis then the transfer function is or the system transfer system is uh, stable so uh, whatever the transfer function we have taken that is for the stable system now sometimes we need to uh, draw the body plot of the transfer function the so the same body plot we can plot from this body command simple body and then r and it uh, gives us the information uh, like uh, how the transfer function magnitude is varying uh, in uh, according to the frequency transfer magnitude as well as the phase of the transfer function is varying. so if we look at the magnitude of this transfer function it is near about 10 db 
and uh, it's uh, more or less a non-linear uh, displaying a non-linear phase uh, of the transfer function and uh, similarly we can also plot the Nyquist and YQIST simple by Nyquist command so it will give the Nyquist plot of the same and it uh, should encircle the minus one for being the mm, uh, stable and it is encircling it similarly we can also create the root locus of the transfer function General root locus uh, is used to define how the roots of the transfer function, that means the poles of the transfer function will vary when it is connected in a feedback system. So R locus uh, of the system, we can easily plot the root locus of the system through this. So these were the poles of the system and it is connected to feedback uh, system. It uh, goes like this and comes to the zero. So it is very easy in MATLAB to plot the different uh, mm, different aspects of the transfer function through just a single command. So before closing, we can also uh, suppose we want to know the poles of the transfer function. So we can easily uh, uh, get the poles of the transfer function just uh, by writing pole and then R. So it is uh, displaying minus one and zero point one. So it it is the these are the exactly the poles of the transfer function, and we can also uh, get the zeros of the transfer function uh, simply by command zero, and then ah uh, there was only one zero and that is minus two. Similarly, we can also get uh, various type of um, uh, responses uh, of the transfer function for the simplest like or the or the famous one is the strap response of the system. A strap response uh, signifies that when we applied a strap input signal to the uh, system which is having the same transfer function, how the system will behave or how the output will behave to it. So we can also check the strap response of the system uh, simply by typing a strap command and then the uh, R or the system and it will uh, plot out the strap response of the system so it is mm, it is telling us like after how much time it will reach to its maximum value so its maximum value is if it's 4 then this response is mm, uh, this strap response saying at after 10 seconds our system will uh, uh, reach up to its maximum value so in this video we have discussed about the various aspects of the transfer function and how to plot the uh, pole zero plot, border plot, Nyquist plot and root locus of the transfer function and we have also seen how to find the stability uh, we have also seen how to find the stability of the transfer function in MATLAB so that's it for this video thank you